Hey guys, Kurt from Prairie of the Gospel. I'm about to head on out. We're going to go for a bike ride and I'm going to show you guys some more places where you can leave gospel tracks. It's nighttime right now. It's a little chilly out, but I'm still going to do it. Now a couple of things real quick right off the bat. Um, sometimes, especially in the summer, I like to go for bike rides or walks and I like to leave gospel tracks in various places. It's something really fun to do. And people are going to get the gospel. You can pray for them afterwards when you leave it there. Um, the other thing, too, is please remember this is just another way to get the gospel out there. And leaving gospel tracts in various places, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. Not everybody, uh, some people might agree or disagree with it, I should say. And, and that's fine. But please remember that this is uh, in particular for people who are just warming up to evangelism. Uh, for some people, this is what they just might have to do. And for me, I mean, I've been sharing the gospel in different ways for a long time. And I still do this. I think it's very beneficial. Um, I mean, you might as well, too, if you're out and about somewhere and you have gospel tracts on hand. I mean, yeah, you can approach people one-on-one, -on -one, but sometimes you don't have time for that. And um, there's nothing wrong. There's no shame in just leaving a gospel tract somewhere. So I just want to make that really clear, uh, just in case somebody... I mean, I, I've gotten a lot of flack over the years. I mean, people uh, get negative over silly things, in my opinion. But, you know, if it's not your cup of tea, then that's fine. Um, but again, if you're new to this thing, which is, you know, one of my passions is to try to wake the church up to get them into evangelism. Start slow, take baby steps. And if this is what you have to do, it's a great way. I mean, this is, I've done this too for a long time before I started uh, being more bold and doing other things. Just leaving tracks places where people can find them. Uh, remember, and if you can read that right there on my shirt, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Just remember that. And God, or Jesus commands us to go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. So I'm just going to show you some ways. I have some ideas. Uh, maybe I'll try to think of some when I'm on the bike. Uh, just some places where we can leave some gospel tracks at nighttime or even during the day. So let's go for a ride. I figured I'd show you guys real quick what kind of tracks I'm going to have tonight. This is my evangelism bag. I've shown this off before, but it's for disc golf, but it works perfect for an evangelism bag. You can put your gospel tracks in there. Uh, great for storage. So I've got the million dollar bills from Gospel Track Planet. And like the previous video, I wrote on there um, the exitmovie.com, which is a great conference movie. Free 40 minute must see film. So it's just a little something extra, a little bonus, um, if they choose to watch it or not. I have a couple of booklets in here. Uh, the Greatest News booklet, that's also from Gospel Track Planet. I've got a, a address label on there with some information, and my phone's not going to zoom in on that. It's not going to clear up. But it's got information on there. If you have any questions, objections, we would love to talk with you, or need a free Bible or prayer for anything please email burdenoflovewisconsin at gmail.com. That's what it says. I know you can't see it right now. And then uh, for Ray Comfort tracks or Living Waters tracks, we have this one right here. If you've not seen this before, it's the Ticket to Heaven, and you can't rip it. I mean, you can if you try long enough, but it's, it just looks like a piece of paper, but it's really tough to rip. I have to order more of those. And then also we have the Ten Commandment coins. Also from livingwaters.com. These are really awesome. You probably can't really see much on my phone right now. I have to get a new phone or a better camera for recording these videos. But these are awesome. I might use that tonight. And then I also have some uh, um, Gospel of John's from Pocket Testament League. Uh, you guys have probably heard of them before. I think I got like 10 of these for free. Just go to Pocket Testament League, uh, dot com. I think. Um, or just do a search. Or ptl.org. That will probably take you to the website. You can get some free Gospel of John's if you would like. And then last but not least, and I probably won't use these tonight, but I have a ton of the Exit movie mini flyers. And again, that's Ray Comfort's uh, new movie. I got some ones here printed off on yellow paper. Um, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do it tonight because it is late. It's like um, 10.30 right now. So... Yeah, I'm not going to go door to door 11 o'clock at night. And uh, I got a bunch of other random tracks in here as well. So whether or not I use those, probably not. I'll probably just use the million dollars and uh, Ten Commandment coins and maybe a couple of other ones. But we'll see where God leads us tonight. As I think I mentioned this before, but porta potties 
we got a construction zone over here and porta potty. Great place to leave gospel tracks. So you can just put one wherever. Right here, up there, doesn't matter. So that's just one spot. So, not sure how much you can see right now, but I'm at the school. And I'm going to leave a gospel tract, a coin gospel tract. It's an elementary school, so I'm just going to put it right there. It's nice and shiny. Someone will find it. And the thing about that, too, is it's at the door where the older kids go, so they're going to know how to read. And the cool thing, too, about these gospel tracts, or any gospel tract, really, is that sometimes they're held on to for years, even before a person gets saved. And eventually they do, or it gets passed around to other people. Um, so I'm going to head over here by the playground area. And find another spot to drop one off. And I was also praying, because I came up with the idea to stop here just a few minutes ago. And I'm like, well, God, please just uh, allow the right person to receive these gospel tracts. Get it into the right hand. So I'm going to put this one, I'll put it right there. Or actually, you know what, maybe I should have it right there. Somebody will find it. Like, hey, what's that? It's nice and shiny. Like, yeah, I'm gonna take that <laughs> and keep that. They probably won't discard it. And it's um, made out of aluminum, I believe. It's not gonna be bad uh, for for, for a wet weather. It's kind of wet out tonight, so it's gonna have a variety of gospel tracks. So I was actually thinking, like, oh man, I wish I brought some of the uh, comic book tracks with me. This might be too bright on the camera, but I didn't have any um, of the comic book gospel tracks, which is really good. You give those out during parades and people take them like candy as they do the million dollar bills as well. But uh, yeah, so just have a variety of gospel tracks, kid friendly ones, and the Ten Commandment coins, if you guys have not seen those, go to uh, livingwaters.com and check those out. Those are really awesome. For such a small thing, you can fit a lot of information on there. And it gets the gospel message across in that small little item. So, let's find the next spot we can go. Guys, I found another school, actually. It's a Catholic school. Um, I believe grades one through eight, probably. Um, or one through six, but Catholics, if you understand where I'm coming from, they do not have the gospel message, and uh, it's, it's not a Christian group. I mean, I know some people might get angry at that, but it's, it's not. Um, but I actually went to this place when I was younger, um, not for a school, but once a week we had religion class, and uh, yeah, so it was basically an hour a week, and they taught us, you know, Catholic doctrine. Don't remember much of it, especially the doctrine, which is a good thing. I wasn't sucked away into it. But they also have a playground area over here. So I'm going to leave a Ten Commandment coin. Set my bike down. Again, just asking God that he will get this into the right hand. I'm just going to leave one. So I'm going to put that up over here. Ten Commandment coin, which is kind of appropriate because Catholicism, they take away one of the commandments and add one. It's kind of interesting which one they take away, but there's a whole thing with that. Um, but yeah, my uh, I'm not going to get into my testimony now, but I did grow up Catholic, at least in the sense where it was uh, Easter and Christmas. Um, that our family would go to the church and through sixth grade actually seventh grade I went here to this school. You can't really see it. I'm sure but um, Once a week during the school year we had religion class is what we called it 
and uh, I didn't know what the gospel was. I believed in the works-based um, gospel until the year 2000 when I was uh, 16 and I was in jail, juvenile detention. It's a long story. I have to share it sometime, but I was in jail and I believe that um, God basically bent the knee to us once we did enough good works. Uh, I believe that if you did enough good works, um, we can enter heaven. And also that if we were good enough people, then we can pray to God and ask for things. And then he would be more willing to give it to us, you know, whatever we pr uh, prayed for based on what good things we did. So I remember as a kid, I would go around with a little baggie picking up trash cigarette butts and things like that thinking that I was gaining points with God and I would also do that with um, um, saving electricity you know going around the house turning off lights and stuff like that so but yeah um, I speak a lot about Catholicism it's a false religion and all that um, for years I been witnessing to a lot of Catholics I know a lot of Catholics in the area uh, Northeastern Wisconsin is a very heavy Catholic area, um, so it just happens to come up a lot when you're when you're talking to people at least around here. I'm not sure what it's like for wherever you guys are from. Whoever's watching this, let me know where you guys are from. It'd be interesting to see the variety of um, you know how spread out you guys are. So yeah, look at that over there. Of course, they won't call it Mary worship, but come on, what else is it? So, all right, let's go find another place. Maybe I should leave the gospel tract over here. Yeah, I'm going to leave a coin over here somewhere. Um, maybe I'll just put it, like, right there. It's a good spot. I'm going to hang up or stop the video so I can have a hand free to do that. So, we'll uh, meet you guys somewhere else. Hey, guys, two things real quick. So, I actually ran out of memory on my phone right before I hit stop, like, one second before I hit stop in the previous bit. So, I put, I uh, raced back home. Uh, put the videos on my computer and I got some more room on here, but I wanted to show you something else real quick since we're talking about Catholicism um, There's a passion project of mine. I've been working on for a while Master list of Bible verses that prove that we can know we are going to heaven if we have the right gospel message uh, Catholics believe you cannot know that you are saved that you're going to heaven um, so I determined, I actually started this a number of years ago. It's a long story, but I determined to go through the entire New Testament finding all the verses I could find that deal with us being able to know our knowability of salvation verses in the New, in the New Testament. So, it's a humongous project. I'm not done yet. I still have the book of Luke and the book of Acts to go. And I want to add some more commentary to some of these verses. But I found approximately 950 or maybe even over a thousand verses. I have to do a recount. But, uh, yeah, a lot, if you guys want this, I can give you the rough, dra the rough draft of it, um, if you want it. We worked real hard on it. Uh, and I know it's overkill, but, um, hey, I love master lists. I love making master lists of um, different things. I have other master lists, like the deity of Christ. I, I got to find that somewhere. But, yeah, so if you guys want that ever, let me know. But let's go back and hit the road. Oh, the other thing, too, I wanted to mention was I was talking about my um, experience in Catholicism when I was younger. Well, I, I mentioned how I ended up in jail. I was in juvenile detention at the age of 16. It was November of year 2000. Long story, but somebody came in to share the gospel with me. And the only question I remember asking him was, um, how, are, are, how are people in the Old Testament saved? And, um, and I had had a wonky idea of salvation, but that's another story. But he explained it to me. And for the first time that night, I read the Bible. He gave me a, a New Testament with the Psalms and Proverbs. It's one of those little Gideon Bibles. So I believe that was when I was saved. I put my faith in Jesus that evening. Um, I was up all night praising God, reading the Bible for pretty much the first time. Because as a Catholic, I never really read the Bible. I mean, I did religiously for a while. But uh, I just... I'll, I'll explain that maybe some other time, but I just wanted to finish what I started talking about before. I know that this video is a little bit more now of um, just leaving gospel tracks in various places, but um, maybe you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So, all right, let's go hit the roll again. 
So we're at another school. Why not? This time a junior high school. And let's leave one. Hmm. This is only one of the doors. Let's just leave one over here. Because why not? We'll put that. Ew, out of the bugs over there. Doesn't matter. Um, if it rains out. Uh, we'll just put it right here. Someone will get it. So, let's go find a different spot. And we're at the same school. Here's a bench. Right here. We'll just put the gospel track right there. And sometimes what you can do is you can fold it up. Like such. And put it in there. You know, whatever. So, just an option. Let's go find a different spot. And give the gospel track to those deer over there. <laughs> no, okay, so I'm at a park and again bathrooms I know I talk about ba using bathrooms a lot but it's such a good spot so we'll put one again there's another baby changing thing I'm not gonna put one there though uh, it's coming to the end of the year they only have these bathrooms open for too much longer it's mid-October right now so and there you go there's a spot you can even put some over here, let me grab the uh, uh, post-it note tract. Put that right there. And again, you can come in here and we'll put one right on there. Alrighty. Let's go get my bike before someone steals it. So at the bathrooms by the park, there's a concession area right here. What you can do is just slide one under there, and someone will eventually get that. At a gas station here, and uh, we have some soda options, either Pepsi or Dr. Pepper. Hmm, which one should we do? Let's do Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi drinker more than I am. Uh, well, I like Dr. Pepper too, but I like Pepsi a little bit more because there's Mountain Dew. All right, so. Now this is a good uh, opportunity or a good um, reason why you want to have your money tracks available, either the millions or the um, Ten Commandment coins, because you can put those in the change thing. I'm not sure it will fit in that particular one, or you can put them in there. You can put that in there as well. But one thing you can do, see if it'll take it or not. Oh, it's going, but it's not taking it for some reason. Well, what would happen is that it would usually take it and it will go in and then it won't recognize it so it will spit it back out but it will hang in there to the point where it's not going to fall out. Let's try the other one. I guess we're going to do Dr. Pepper. There we go. There. And it will just hang there. So, someone's going to get a gospel track when they're thirsty. Here's a bus stop with a little thing you can go inside and sit down, relax, and read the gospel tract. And put that right there. It's a good place to leave a book of gospel tracts as well. But I'm going to leave that one there because it's got the um, exit movie thing written on there. And I want people to see that. So, a little something for people to read as they're waiting for the bus. There's another bus stop. This is a much bigger one, so that tells me a lot of people use this one. So this time we're going to use a booklet gospel tract. And we'll put it right smack dab in the middle. Now, I'm at a laundromat. It's closed, but I just wanted to show you guys that here's another great place to leave gospel tracts. See that table? You can put them anywhere on the table. Stack of magazines, put them inside the magazines, or just put them on top of the magazines. Leave gospel tracks maybe inside the dryers, put them by the video games, by the vending machine over there, or inside the vending machine where you grab the snacks. So many options, and there's a restroom over there, which is another option. Got a soda machine. Again, another great place to leave some gospel tracks. And we're going to head on over here. There's a car wash. Let's put the gospel tract over there, shall we? So I'm just going to put the coin gospel tract right in there. That's it. 
may people drink the water of life freely, if you get that reference. Let's go find another spot. So I'm at a golf course just alongside the road and one of these golf ball washers, I'm going to put one right there. I'm not sure if they still have golfing this time of the year. It's October 12th, 13th tomorrow, but maybe they do and um, somebody will come across here and get the gospel tract in the form of the Ten Commandment coin. Um, how many other places besides Manitowoc County have these little libraries or these things on people's lawns? All throughout the town, they have books in there you can grab for free, and you can just read some of that stuff on there. But what I like to do is usually put um, the comic book track in here. I don't have them with me today, so I'll just put a million dollar bill in there. Where people can see it, just like that. Guys, I think I'm going to conclude our little adventure. It's a little after midnight, but one last stop. I'm at my old church, Calvary Chapel of Manitowoc. And they also have one of these little home things. I just wanted to show you, you know, you guys can do this if um, you have a church, especially smack dab in the middle of a community like this church is. Um, you can have one of these homes built up and put in books, gospel tracts, uh, information about your church, whatever, um, CDs, DVDs, all kinds of good stuff. But yeah, it's just one option. Um, yeah, so... Last but not least, guys, make sure you pray for the people that will receive these gospel tracts. Make sure you pray that their heart will, be, heart will be opened. And I pray that as you people watch these videos, that um, you be inspired to do something even as simple as this. And I pray for more laborers because the laborers are few. So I might handle a few uh, other gospel tracts, leave a couple of different places. I wrote some ideas down on my hand here for upcoming video. Uh, leave them outside the bars, strip clubs if you have any, uh, house info, which are those things be, um, in front of homes that are being sold. They have those little things you can grab papers from. Or, oh, under a bridge. There's a bridge you can go under in Manitowoc I wanted to show you guys. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, um, comments, if you want to email me, get a hold of me personally, that's uh, paradethegospel at gmail.com. So, see you guys later and God bless.